when you make a decision <clears throat> to move aggressively in a food deficit country, you are, of course, deeply involved in a decision that involves the life and welfare of many people who live close to starvation. All of our scientific information indicated that we could make this breakthrough. And I am not one to sit idly by. And if I have anything to contribute to this world, when I know that our scientific facts are right and we have materials that can be brought together in a meaningful production program, I'm going to play that card and play it hard. Dr. Norman E. Warlog was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970 for a lifetime of work to feed the world. Born of Norwegian descent, Dr. Warlog was raised in Cresco, a small farming community in northeast Iowa. He obtained a Ph.D. at the age of 27 and worked in Mexico in the 1940s and 1950s to make the country self-sufficient in grain. He is believed to be the man who saved a billion lives, supporting countries like India and Pakistan. Without food, man can live at most but a few weeks. Without it, all other components of social justice are meaningless. Dr. Norman E. Borlaug Dr. Borlaug's impact is an example of international cooperation for us to learn from and build the future. Peace lies in the hands of those who cultivate the land. We can build peace through agriculture. Dr. Norman Borlaug's work is one of the greatest achievements for humankind. Dr. Borlaug saved a billion lives by listening and responding to a crisis. We can build more sustainable, resilient, and inclusive agri-food systems for all. My grandfather left us an important legacy of peace empathy, and collaboration. This commitment is being carried forward today by Simit. Fifty years after this achievement, his legacy is alive and continues to inspire us to work on agriculture for peace. You can't build peace on empty stomachs.